Y'all looking for a big, big time for the big, big game? We've got the perfect way to blow things up. These are Irish cannonballs that we learned from our place that's the ultimate jump off, Kitty Hoynes in downtown Syracuse. These are their Reuben fritters, AKA Irish cannonballs. Our take on them, and here are the key ingredients. Great friends, like the ones you're gonna be partying with, some cold drinks, like the ones you're gonna be putting down for the game, and one brick of cream cheese, one cup of drained and squeezed sauerkraut, one cup of shredded baby Swiss cheese, then about a pound and a half of chopped up shredded corned beef. Now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna start mixing and turning and mix things up. Okay, now we got our mixture here. Cream cheese, Swiss cheese, and the cream cheese kind of acts as a binding agent and also kind of the creamy gooey part. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna roll them up into things about the size of a golf ball, right? And the thing with these things too is a good way to test them to see how they work is if they bounce. They didn't bounce, so it's good to go. So let's make a couple more of them. So at Kitty Hoynes, you might have seen that we've done the breakfast shot there, which we love. And one of the things about Kitty Hoynes I love is besides the music, the great people, the bartenders, Jimmy, Joe, Christian, Donna, Kayla, they're all great, is the other thing about that place though is it's beautiful inside, especially on the holidays, around big events like the World Cup, and I've seen people get engaged there. So, you know what? Nothing actually would be more special than getting engaged at Kitty Hoynes, and if you talk to David, ask him if you can put the engagement ring in one of the Irish meat, Irish cannonballs, and maybe he'll bring it out there and that's where the magic can happen. Let's him take a bite of it. So once you've got your ball ready, I want you to roll it into some flour. Okay, from flour there, it's gonna go into some buttermilk, all right? And then the last part of it is gonna be panko with some dried parsley. And then we're gonna drop it into our oil. Yes, look at these golden brown beauties. Now these were in vegetable oil at 350 degrees for a little over two minutes, but keep an eye on them. They have to get this color, then they're good to go. Now, if you're worried about your temperature, if it's getting too hot, add more room temperature oil that'll lower the temperature back down. Meanwhile, anything comes out of a fryer, hit it with some salt first. So what we're gonna do after that is some salt, a little bit of cracked black pepper on each one, then some fresh parsley, because we think it looks cool. And they're Irish, so why not respect it with some green? Especially for the big game, if you're rooting for teams that wear green, if you feel me. Now at that point, I'm gonna take it, and what we made was a honey dill mustard. So we're gonna dip it in there. Crunchy, gooey, fantastic. The big balls for the big game. Let's bash it up front. <laughs> 